Hello again, it's Kate Arela. Um, I'm gonna do the, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking over at the questions. I'm gonna do the um, Never Have I Ever Doll tag, and I've got Opal with me, but I don't I'm get her all wet from my wet hair, so maybe I'll swap her out for Ursa. But they're so pale, even compared to me, that it really fucks up the dynamic of the thing. The thing? Is that that thing? Camera. Oh, maybe if I, yeah, that's, that's right, you can sit on my shoulder. Okay, so I'm reading the prompts from, um, DX Girly actually put them in her, um, description box, so that was super helpful, thank you so much, and, um, of course the original tag was done by Nerdy Doll Girl, and, <clears throat> I'll put a link down below for it. So, here's the prompts. Never have I ever bought a doll I couldn't afford. Mmm, that's a difficult one, because I've probably committed to buying a doll that I maybe couldn't afford right at that moment, and that's why we lay away. Um, but ultimately, I knew I'd be able to afford that doll. Uh but maybe I have, I probably have, I don't have a very good memory and I think I might block things like this out subconsciously so I'm gonna say probably <laughs> um, oh I did, I did put in an order for a Blythe last year to celebrate my graduation and I really couldn't afford it at that time and I'd just kinda of gone bye and then my husband's like uh yeah nah, <laughs> I was like oh shit so, but they were really good about it, and um, I still buy lots from that store. Um, and that, yeah, that was really bad, and I have to, I have to learn to deal with shit without just buying stuff. But that is how I deal with shit. So, we'll figure it out. Um, never have I ever gotten inspired to buy a doll and copy someone else's style after seeing what they did with the same doll. Now, I am the first to admit, well, I'm not the first to admit, because uh, um, Lady T also did the same, but I saw Denali Wynn's Shoo Shoo and fell in love with the sculpt. Having said that, my Shoo Shoo does not look anything like Denali Wynn's Shoo Shoo, except for the base sculpt. Um, I even think she might have had she didn't did she do any modifications to it? I'm not sure. Someone else did. Maybe that was um Winnie BJD? I'm not sure. Again, my memory's terrible and this is annoying me and also my shoulder's really sore, so fuck it. Putting a doll down. You you can see stuff in the background. It's there, you can see a couple of monster highs. Um Oh, well you can see a monster high and Ezio. Ezio? I've done this before, haven't I? Where of Eh! Stop getting distracted. Okay. <laughs> so no, I haven't copied a doll. I don't have a particular desire to copy a doll. I like to draw inspiration from them. Like, um, for example, with my Blythe customs. Like this one here that's in progress. Um, I don't think I've particularly copied someone. I have taken inspiration from the community in that like I saw that a lot of people were doing a button nose and I really like the button nose um, and with the mouth carving yes I do look at reference photos while I'm doing it but I pretty much just go with whatever's happening because I know if I try and plan it out and draw it in pencil and I fuck it up I feel really bad like I feel like an absolute failure and that's I know it's dumb but um, it's, I'm a Capricorn, I, you know, I'm a perfectionist. So, so what I do now is I just kind of go with the flow. I'm like, okay, your mouth's doing that. It's not exactly what I wanted. Let's see what happens if I do this. And then I'm like, oh, actually I like that. Or fuck no, I hate that. Although to be honest, I've never, like I've, like I've done them and hated them. But like, I've been able to salvage it and I've never thrown a faceplate in the bin 
because I am off I don't like waste I'm a Yorkshire lass you know we make the Scots look frivolous so <laughs> which is well theoretically let's say because I do buy a lot of shit but um yeah so I hate waste like I will be one of those little old ladies with a bag full of string because I hate throwing bits of string out when they could be useful <sighs> That's another story. But yeah, so I, I wouldn't deliberately copy someone else's. I, I saw a really interesting comment about it the other day. We were I was on a, one of the Blythe groups on Facebook and they were talking about customizers copying other people. Now there are customizers that copy other people's styles and try to make money out of it. And I think that sucks um, because that's not your style. You know, it's... It's like, I, I don't know, I, I just, I find, I find it a bit sad. It's like, you've obviously got a lot of talent and skill, which are not necessarily the same thing, but you're applying it in a way that kind of, I think, lets you down as an artist. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so it came up that um, in order to learn how to do these things yourself, quite often people start out by copying. So it's like when you're learning to draw, you might, you know, start by tracing to practice the shapes or or whatever. And it, so I can see, I can understand that, but it's when you're trying to make money off your initial stages of of learning by copying that I. I guess I get a little bit dubious about it. Like, I'm not going to outright say you suck, but I just feel like I personally couldn't do that. Because I would feel like I suck. But then that's also a whole different story, because I always think I suck. So, yeah. Um, next question. I'm only on question three, and it's seven minutes in. Um, never have I ever put a doll on layaway. Yeah, all the time. All the time. I think it's a really good way of, if you're shit at saving, like I am, it's actually a really good way of sort of saving. It's just saving in someone else's bank account to pay off a thing that you can't necessarily afford in one go. But you're not going to get that thing until the layaway is paid off anyway, so... Um, and it usually is about the same amount of time as if I'd been saving for it. and. Yeah, okay, so you could say, oh, well, you know, why not just save and then buy it straight out? But sometimes, like, if it's a second-hand doll, it might not still be available at that price, and you might have to pay more and then wait longer and miss out again. Or, you know, um, I've got hair tickling my stud. It's really annoying. Um, in the case of my first BJD, my Fairyland, if I'd have just paid outright, I'd have still had to wait the same amount of time, pretty much, to get her. Only I would have paid out for her fully and have to wait four more weeks, uh, four more weeks, four more months for her to arrive because that's how freaking long it takes for them to cast it and then send it to Denver Doll who then send it on to me. And then an extra two weeks of, well, it's clearing customs and it's like, so, in a lot of ways, that was really good, um, putting it on layaway. Um, so yeah, I would totally do that. I have absolutely no problem with that. I don't necessarily see it as an I can't afford it at all. It's an I can't afford it in one lump sum right now. Um, and I think it's a legitimate way of buying a doll and sort of effectively saving for it. As I said. Okay, repeating myself now. Never have I ever cut any of my doll's hair. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> so, um, my pineapple princess, I trimmed the ends because they felt like they'd been fried with some kind of hot iron or something. Um, and when I'm customizing, um, particularly my um, Simply Guava, I cut her hair into a bob and it looks super cute. Um, her hair is so nice. In fact, I almost wondered if she was a knockoff just because her hair is so nice. But um, I'm pretty certain she's not. Um, so yeah, um, I even I had one of those dolls where you pull its arm 
like either up or down and its hair grew. Someone was talking about it the other day. I'm like, yes, I totally had one of those. I think I cut its hair because it was really annoying me and I got in trouble because um, I always got in trouble for doing stuff like that. It's like, I don't think I learned from that in a lot of ways because it's like telling a kid off for being a kid is kind of pointless, you know. Um, but yeah. Let's not grow into that. <laughs> Let's avoid that topic. Um, have, never have I ever done a repaint. Well, I think Blythe customizing counts. I'm still working on a couple of Monster High projects. I don't think I'll ever finish them, to be quite honest. They just sat in like a box somewhere with no face. And also, I think I used the wrong stuff to remove the makeup, so it's all discolored. So... But, um, yeah, I've repainted Blythe's and done BJD face-ups, so, yeah, I'd say that counts. Um, never have I ever bought a doll just because it was on sale. Yeah, I totally have. And I even bought one because I thought it was on sale and it turned out that it wasn't and I just couldn't be bothered putting it back on the shelf, so I bought it anyway. And that was a La La Loopsie, and that was way before I even got into, like blides and stuff so yeah of course I have um, I often buy on impulse I will also buy stuff not just because it's on sale but because it's up for sale like if it's something that I don't see very often or it catches my eye I will be like oh gimme um, yeah I have no self-control well I have some but it's limited um, Never have I ever wished I could trade my collection for someone else's. That's an interesting question. I mean, sometimes there's going to be moments where you're like, fuck, I hate all my dolls. I need to get rid of them and get new ones. But they wouldn't be my collection if they were someone else's. And it's it's like saying, um, would you like to live someone else's life? It's like, well, not, not really, ultimately, because their life is not my life, so it's not tailored to me. So... Um, there are certain dolls that I would, like if they came up for sale, I would be like, hell yeah, I want that in my collection, but I wouldn't want to sell all my dolls or swap all my dolls out because, you know, I've got some really, I've got some unique dolls because I've customised them myself or some of them have got wonderful stories behind them. Um, like I've made friends through buying them. So, no. Um, never have I ever hated a doll company purely on the look of their dolls. Hate is a strong word, but I use strong words all the time. I'm pretty, I'm like either, oh my god, I love it, or oh my god, I fucking hate it. Um, but ultimately, if I was being real, I don't hate companies because of the way their doll looks. Um, I might really dislike the doll, but it's not necessarily the company. There are some companies where they've got some really gorgeous dolls and some really fugly dolls. And this is just my opinion. Some people think they look amazing and I'm like, ew, get that thing away from me. But ultimately, I can't hate a company for it. Um... There are definitely companies that I do not like the aesthetic of very much. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Doll Chateau slash Doll Zone. Um, I think that's also because a lot of them are very um, insect-like and um, particularly like they make me think of spiders and I fucking hate spiders. I got really quite strong arachnophobia. Like even people showing happy spider pictures. I have to scroll on by and no, can't, can't deal with that. That cute spider that everyone keeps showing, ugh, no. Um, but that doesn't mean that I hate the company. I'm just not a fan of their sculpts. And I had that thing with Angel Philia. I don't like some of their face sculpts, but like the sculpting itself is actually really beautiful. And there are some of their dolls that I would quite like to have. So just because that particular 
face isn't my cup of tea doesn't mean I hate it. So there you go. So no. Um, never have I ever been to a doll convention. No, I have not because I live in the ass end of nowhere. Um, I guess I could have gone to like the, the Blythe one in Australia, but I can't remember why I didn't, but I, mm, I'd rather go to one in Europe or America, to be quite honest, mostly just because, well, it's, it's a bigger and wider, you know, convention, um, or whatever it is but also then I've got the excuse to oh well I'll just go over to here and go to Harry Potter world <laughs> or Disney world that's why I would want to do that because you know if I'm going to travel let's at least travel far um I guess um so never have I ever restrung a doll technically I have I kind of restrung my Unoa boy when I got him because I had to change his um, chest piece out because he was on the thinner one and he needed to be a bit more muscular and and um, and that took quite a bit of doing but I did it I'm not sure I did it right but it works I just kind of winged it that's that's kind of how I do things I just wing it <laughs> see she'll be right <laughs> so yeah I have technically restrung a doll I would never offer my service as, like, I would not offer myself to do a paid restringing service, but I would help out a friend if they needed someone to hold things or whatever, you know, if I had any friends. Um, never have I ever hid the fact that I collect dolls. Um, no. Nah. Pretty much as soon as I started, I, um... Like I took my blithes to work or I showed my colleagues or whatever, you know, it was, um, it was very much a, look, I've got a new hobby. I'm really open about things that I get excited about. So like right now it's all about the bullet journals and the planners and the traveler's notebooks. And I'm like, oh, look at these cool stickers. Look at this cool washi tape. Look, I drew a thing. And it's, it's not like, look at me, look at me. It's like, I'm just so genuinely excited about whatever I'm doing that I have to share it if I don't share it I will explode and it will be a Mr. Creosote situation and if you don't know what that is then I'm very sad but also not that sad but anyway so it's like so I don't hide that stuff um there are some things that I do hide but <laughs> that it's from certain people and that's because of their religious beliefs and I just don't want to get into arguments um but not my dolls my dolls are pretty pretty okay like they're pretty cool to share in fact I even had a display of them at work as I showed recently oh no that was just my um Blythes but I don't really have enough BJDs for a display and hell no am I having my seven eight hundred New Zealand dollar dolls sitting on shelves in a room where I'm not permanently like no fuck no <laughs> so never have I ever talked to my dolls I talk to them all the time I don't have conversation well no I don't have conversations with them sometimes they have conversations with each other when I'm being really silly but ultimately mostly it's like stand still what the fuck are you doing what is your hair doing girl what is your hair doing girl you know, or, oh my god, you're so cute. I love that look on you. Let's take a photo. Um, but yeah, it, it's most of the time it's what the hell are you doing? Um, or how did you get there? Or what is, yeah, what is your hair doing? Is it time to change your outfit? It's not really... Yeah. I, I, I talk to everything. I, I talk to my computer. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, computer? Or stupid pen why aren't you working or hey water bottle come here you know I just I, I'm human that's what we do <laughs> um, never have I ever lied about liking a friend's doll never outright if someone asked me for an opinion I 
and this is pretty much what Nikki said, um, DX Girly. God, I hope I got your name right. I'm just having a complete, like, that's not her name. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, if I must outright, it makes it a bit more uncomfortable, but I will always try and find something good about it, or I won't say, I won't say anything if I think it's really, really bad, or at least to the person. Sometimes I have been known to send a picture to someone else and say, oh my God, this doll is fucking awful. And that, yeah, that's not very nice of me. I'm not, I, I won't pretend that I'm a nice person. I can be a real bitch. That's just me. But I will never actually say it to someone's face. And if someone said to me, don't you think my doll is great? And I thought it really wasn't, I would probably say, it's not to my taste, but I can see that you'd like it or something. Um, I just, I, I really struggled to lie. Um, it was beaten out of me as a child. You know, I can't just learn now. Um, so, yeah, um, but I haven't actually had a friend who's come outright and said, look at my doll, don't you think she's amazing? Um, and it's the same, I don't say to my friends, uh, I'm, sometimes I will say directly to someone, what do you think of this face up? And if they said, and that's when I'm looking for constructive criticism. And I think sometimes people do get confused about when you're actually looking for criticism and when you're just saying, look at this thing that I did. Um, Yeah, and yeah, it's about the phrasing as well. But um, like, if I if I deliberately said to one of my like my only friend, if I said to her, "What do you think of this face up?" and she said, "It's heavy-handed on the blushing on his eyebrows. You need to tone that down." Then I would I would take that as constructive criticism. If she said, "He's fucking ugly. Get him away from me." Yeah, I would be heartbroken. So I try not to say things like that <laughs> to people's faces. Sometimes you need to have an outlet for your snark, otherwise it comes out at people and that's not cool. So sometimes it is good to find a safe place, like a, a person that you trust that you can say, hey, this person's doll is really ugly. Do you agree? And if they say no, then you can reevaluate why you're being mean. And if they say yes, then you're like, oh, thank God, I'm not the only one. And um, yeah, okay, it's mean, but life is mean. People are mean. I'm sure lots of people say, oh, look at that girl. She's so fat and ugly. And it's like, yeah, I know. Meh. But I have amazing glasses. Um... Have never have I ever wanted to sell all my dolls and start over? Yes, yes, I have. Um, well, not all my dolls, so actually, no. But what I did was because um, I used to collect Sylvanian families and I just got I got sick of how obsessed I was with them. Like, because I wouldn't even get them out of the box because everything had to be in its packaging and I wouldn't really play with them because the dogs would knock them over or the cat would eat them or whatever. And then I sold them all in order to buy Blythe stuff, I think. Um, yeah, I probably have, but... Uh, never have I ever obsessed about a doll. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I absolutely obsess about the um, My Melody Blythe. And... Oh, I'm so glad to have her in my life. She makes me so happy. Um, the same with Simply Thumpty Thump. And I think I obsessed even more because I had that issue with getting like the wrong doll sent to me as her when I first tried to buy her. So yeah, but yeah, I've obsessed. I obsessed about the um, People 60 Siona, even though I still don't have her and I'm not even sure I want to go down that route. So I think I can be really obsessed and then have that obsession fade. But I was completely obsessed with pretty much all my dolls, like when I bought them or as I was buying them. So yeah, definitely. 
Now the last one is, it is a sad question to end on, but I think it's a good question. Uh, never have I ever had a relationship end because of dolls. Now I've not had a romantic relationship end because of dolls, but I've been with my husband for like, we've been together for like 12 years or something, and I put up with his stupid hobbies, so he has to put up with mine. <laughs> so that's fine. But I did have a friend who didn't like dolls. And this was kind of when I started putting mine more on Instagram. And eventually she ghosted out on me and unfriended me on everything. And I think part of the excuse was the dolls. She did say to me, your dolls are creepy, they creep me out, please don't have them near me. Well fine, but I'm not going to stop posting them on Instagram just because you don't like them. Because I like them. And I don't mind if you unfollow me, but it's the whole... Like, you can, you can unfollow someone's feed on Facebook without unfriending them. And ultimately that's, that's what's ended up happening. She unfollowed me on every single platform. And I haven't heard from her in like over a year. And I'm still quite heartbroken about it. Because um, I thought she was one of my very best friends. Um, and I don't know that it was necessarily all to do with dolls. I think quite a lot of it was to do with herself. Um, but if if she wants to blame the dolls, that's that's fine. But I still think it was a really shitty thing to do. Um, and I've never, like, I've never fallen out with someone specifically, uh, not specifically because of dolls in the doll community, but more because of people's attitudes and opinions. Like, yeah, we all have attitudes and opinions. I'm fucking full of them. But that doesn't mean I have the right to declare that what I say is law or that what I say is the only thing and to basically just disparage everyone who disagrees with me. It's like if I, if I turn around and said everyone who likes Doll Chateau is stupid, that would suck and it would be fucking stupid. Like, that's not true at all. There are plenty of people who have some seriously beautiful Doll Chateau dolls and just because they're not my cup of tea doesn't mean I can't appreciate it and that I would think that they're stupid for liking them. It's, you know, that's just, that's just so fucking stupid. Um, so, uh, but if someone's, but when people are like, if you disagree with me, you're wrong and you suck. Um, and sometimes it, it just pushes me too far and I'm like, you know what? I don't need you in my life. Fuck off. Um, because you you've got to you've got to look after yourself, and um, yeah, and people who get really preachy, which is funny because I'm probably preaching, but you know the people can get really preachy or really patronizing, and it's just like, and, and it's like at the end of the day, they're just dolls. They're just dolls. They're just things. We all die and turn into atoms or whatever. At the, you know, the dolls are not going to be with us through eternity, even if they're buried with us. They, well, anyway, but you know, they're just dolls. They're just things. Get over it. Grow up. Um, and just because you think one way doesn't mean that you're right. Just because I think one way doesn't mean that I'm right. I might think I'm right for myself, but that doesn't mean that I'm actually right, right. Um, and, yeah. So. Just be nice to each other, okay, guys? Just be nice. <laughs> Says the not very nice person. But just be nice to each other in person, you know, and... Being nice to someone makes some, them be nice to you and it makes you feel nice and then you're more inclined to be nice. So if everyone's nice to each other, it does make people feel better. And I'm not, I'm not talking about specific things that are going around on the internet. I'm just talking about like being pleasant and polite to each other, you know. 
there there are times when you totally should go fuck you but yeah okay now I'm rambling and it's been 30 minutes but yeah I just want to leave everyone with be nice please because the world is a shitty horrible place so yeah let's do what we can to make it slightly less shitty and dolls are that for me they make my life slightly less shitty and when people tell me that I'm playing with my dolls wrong fuck you I don't need you in my life you can go to hell so yeah <laughs> sorry bit confrontational but yeah um so I take anyone who wants to do this I will also put the questions in my thing the doobly do as some people call it and I think that's a really cute name and um, I will link the original video as well and please before you hit dislike think about providing cr constructive criticism like I'm not gonna get really butthurt about oh no one person from Japan disliked my video yeah I've looked through the stats because I was really bored one day but think about why you dislike it you know think about why does this make you annoyed why does this make you sad why does this make you angry what is the reason is it really that I'm being a horrible person or is it that it struck a chord because you know maybe you go around telling people that they're doing it wrong or um, whatever so just let's let's be less quick to hit the dislike I realize there's gonna be trolls out there who are just gonna do it for shits and giggles well I hope you enjoy it um, but yeah so everyone I've really enjoyed watching your videos of this tag and I'm looking forward to eventually uploading this it's gonna take like 12 hours because my internet is so slow I think it's like it's not hamsters on treadmills running it but like snails let's not go into that and um, I'm gonna do some more tags soon and my hair's drying <laughs> you can see how long I've been talking at the camera okay I'll stop being weird <laughs> you're right okay I love you all very much and just be kind and take care of yourselves <laughs>